Here is how to make the popular Roblox interactive TikTok live stream. You can also do this for other games as well. So let's start by looking at a quick clip. It sounds crazy, but I think that's the point. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the so what's going on here? Basically, different sounds are playing when viewers type different messages in the chat, such as welcome. It also shows their profile picture and their username, and when they send a gift, it shows an even bigger profile picture. There is, of course, also some interesting gameplay in the background and a little looped video at the top, which just says welcome over and over. The requirements for this are pretty simple. You basically need access to PC streaming. That either means you need access to Live Studio, which will randomly unlock at either 1K, 3K or 10K followers. Or you need a stream key. The only way to get that these days is to join a free TikTok Live agency. I'll put my list of free agencies in the description. Also worth noting that TikTok sometimes doesn't like looped videos, which is what this live stream was doing. So I would encourage you to actually play the game yourself while you're doing this type of stream. Anyway, let's start by setting this up and I'm gonna use Live Studio for this, but it's basically the same steps if you're using OBS. Firstly, if you're starting from fresh, make sure you're in portrait mode in the bottom left, add scene and just choose the blank option. Now, as I mentioned, you can either add a looped video in the background or even better, add your own game. So if you're adding your own game, I'm just gonna click add source and just choose the display capture, capture the cursor, choose whatever display your game's on. I'll choose display three. Then I'm just gonna drag it to the top. I'm gonna leave a little bit of space for the welcome video and then I'm just gonna drag it to center it. If you're adding a looped video instead, click add source and find the video option. Click on add, click on the loop option. You probably wanna turn the volume of the video down and click select file to find your video. So I'll just add a random Fortnite trailer, click on add source. It's usually the wrong size, but once again, let's just full screen it and leave a little bit of black space at the top for the video that says welcome. So how do we make this little animation which says welcome? Once again, it's just flashing the word welcome every second or so. Pretty simple, you can do this for free, let me show you. So we're gonna use Veed for this. And in actual fact, nearly every video and short on this channel is edited using Veed. Now I am using the paid tier, but the free tier will work just fine for this. So we're gonna start by clicking create project. Once it's loaded, just X out of any options and on the left, click text. Now we wanna find some text with an animation. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit. There's lots of text with animation, but this one looks fine. So I'm just gonna click on it to add it. Then all I'm gonna do is replace the text with the word welcome in capital letters. By default, the text is black, so I obviously need to turn it white. So I'll just click on the text to turn it white. If I play it through, you'll now see it appears. It does seem a little bit long, so I'm just gonna drag it down a little bit to shorten the length of it, something like that. There we go, now it looks like a good length. So when you're happy with your text, you just press done in the top right corner, export it in the highest quality that you've got. I'm gonna choose the faster export option as well. I'll go in the advanced settings. For me, I can do 1080p, 60 FPS. But even if it's 720p, it should be fine and you will be able to do 720p for free. It will watermark it, but I'll show you how to crop it in a second. Anyway, just hit export video. And after just a few seconds, you should have this download button on the right. You might have to make a free account to download it, but don't worry, they're not gonna take your money. Although if you do wanna pay for it, make sure you use my affiliate link, which is in the description. So let's head back to Live Studio and add it. It's just another looped source. Before we do that though, I'm actually gonna rename the source we've already got added. So I'm gonna double click video and I'm just gonna name it gameplay or something like that because we're now gonna have two video sources and they'll both say video, which is confusing. So now let's hit add source once again, find video. Once again, we're gonna loop it. This one doesn't need sound. It probably won't have sound anyway. Click select file to locate it. So here's mine, I've chosen it. I'll just click add. It never really adds it in the correct place or size. Now, like I said, you might have a watermark in the top right corner. Let's pretend I've got one in the top right corner. I'm just gonna hold Alt and just drag down and that will crop out the watermark. I'll crop the bottom off as well because I don't need that. And then we'll just drag it into the space. I'm gonna increase the size of it. So now it looks great. I'm once again on the left gonna double click and rename it to welcome video or something like that. And because we're finished resizing this, I'm gonna lock this one and lock the gameplay video as well. If you're finding these tips useful, then every single week I send free tips to monetize and grow your live stream with my newsletter, Live Success. It has over 1000 readers. If you wanna join them, it's linked in the description. 
All right, so we've got the videos in the background. Now we need the alerts on top. And to do this, we're using the Tickfinity desktop app. It's a free download. It's linked in the description. Once it's downloaded, head to the setup page, log in with your email, type your username into the username box, scroll down the page a bit and just make sure you are logged in with TikTok. Next up, just head to the actions and events page. We're going to get our page looking like this. Here's how it's done. So firstly, let's start with the chat commands. This is where the viewer types welcome. They also type wow, and I don't know how to say it, T-U-T-U-R-U. -U -R -U. There's a few steps to add these. Firstly, click new action. Then at the top, give it a name. Then check the play audio button and just open the sound library. The welcome one, you just search for welcome to the motto. Once you've added that, show alert user plus text. You just type the text into the box, which is welcome. Click on this box to add whatever color you want, and then go into the global overlay settings, scroll down, and make sure you have a custom color for the username with the box checked and make sure show profile picture is checked as well. Now let's scroll to the bottom of the page for some crucial settings. Firstly, display duration, only one second. I'll leave my volume on max, but here's where the volume slider is. Pay close attention to the overlay screen. I'll leave this one on screen one, but we will have to change it for different commands. I also want you to untick fade in, fade out. And we're also going to skip on next action. When you've got all those settings, just hit save. Next up, you need wow and the other command. So what you're going to do next to the welcome command, you're just going to hit the duplicate button. Now for the wow action, you're just going to search for the animate wow sound. You're going to then change the text in the show alert box. Now we're going to scroll down and crucially, we're going to change the overlay screen to screen two. I've set this one to two seconds because the sound clip is a little bit longer and press save. Now for the third sound, once again, just duplicate the welcome one and then give it a different name. Find the sound, which is T-U-T-U-R-U. Type it into the show alert box as well. Then once again, scroll down, set it to one second and make sure it's on screen three. Next up for these, click create new event. And the key one is commenting a command and the command is just the word welcome. Leave it on level zero and underneath trigger all of these actions, just choose the welcome action and press save. It is exactly the same settings for the other two events. Here's the second one and here is the third one. Now there was also a Ronaldo Sui sound for the gifts. So for this one, create a new action, give it a name. There's loads of different Sui sounds in the sound library. Type it into the show alert box. I've probably spelled it wrong, but it doesn't really matter. And then scroll down. I've set it to two seconds. Crucially, this one is on repeat with gift combos and we're not skipping with the next action. And I've also once again assigned it to a separate screen. This one's on screen four. Once you've done that, create a new event. And this one is sending a gift with minimum coin values. That minimum coin value is one and then just assign the SUI action. Finally, they had one for 200 taps. So here it is. I didn't actually know what sound it was. So I've changed it to the fart sound, but any sound from the sound library, they just put the word 200 taps on the screen. And then at the bottom, just uncheck enable fade in or out. And we put this one on screen five and it's skipping on next action. And it's one second. Finally, for this one, just create yourself a new event. It is sending likes, brackets, taps. It is 200 taps. And obviously just pick the relevant action and save your event. Now, a few more crucial steps staying on this page. Let's scroll down. Just increase every single Q size to a thousand. You will have to type it twice into the box. That is just some strange Tickfinity bug. Now you can see how mine say ready. Yours won't say ready. Yours will say offline. To get them ready, you have to click on each link and we're going to add them to Live Studio. So let's add screen one as an example. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to click into Live Studio. I'll click add source. I'll click on link. I'll press add. Control V with your keyboard to paste. The default resolution should be fine. Make sure the sound is turned on and click add source. Before we do anything else, I'm going to double click link on the left and I'm going to rename it to screen one. Otherwise, we're going to have five different sources which all say link. I'll press enter to rename it. Then I'll just click on it and we can see where it is. So this area is where the profile picture, the username and the text is going to appear. So I'll just move it into the top right corner. I'll shrink it down a little bit. Then if I maneuver Live Studio and Tickfinity onto the same screen, if I go next to the actions and press the play button, we can have a little test. Welcome. 
Once you're happy with screen one, just press the lock button and lock it into place. Then you just got to do the tedious steps of adding screen two, screen three, screen four and screen five and place them where you want. And once you've added each one, make sure you just press the play button to test it. And again, to prevent any confusion, make sure you double click and rename each one and make sure you just press the lock icon against each one so you're not accidentally clicking the wrong source. You're now good to go. All that's left to do is click the go live button. Now I mentioned TikTok sometimes doesn't like looped video. Watch this video here to learn how to avoid warnings.